you might have noticed on my last weekly ramble uh, of things that I do during the week that the uh, the light in my cooker hood popped right in the middle of doing a recipe. I knew it was going, it's been flickering for months, it takes ages to go. Um, so then last night I decided to get the bulb out because this morning I want to go and see if I can get that bulb replaced. Um, but it means taking off all the cooker hood um, and all the bits inside and it was pretty gross to be honest with you. So there I was at six o'clock last night um, cleaning all the components of that hob, um, that hood cover, so that it's ready to go back in all brand new. So this morning I am heading off to try and find the bulb. There's a couple of places I can try. It used to be great when we used to have a Wilco's because you could get everything in there and that's gone. They've opened a much bigger, I think it's a Poundland, um, which tends to have the stuff that they used to have. There's also a branch of the range, but they're not very good and they're more expensive. Um, I know that I can probably get the bulb also in Morrison's, but I want to go to Poundland first because I need to try and find the new, the filter paper to go inside the hood. And that used to be easy to get at Wilco's and I'm going to see if Poundland have got it. So let's go and see what we can find. That was a bit frustrating. No bulbs that looked like the one I had. And definitely no uh, cooker hood filter papers. So I'm going to have to buy that online. I remember the days when you could just go into a shop that did a little bit of everything. And you'd be able to buy something like that. I've bought... Um, those hood filter papers before. I used to get them in Wilco's. I can't get them anymore. I noticed a lot of the stuff that used to be in the Wilco's near me is now in the range store. Um, there's a lot of branded stuff. I think they just moved everything next door to empty out the shop. But um, yeah, I, I don't really like the range. They're not very good. Their prices are high. Um, the bulbs that I did see that looked like they'd be suitable for the cooker hood, the energy ratings on them were dreadful. Um, and then, funnily enough, when I got home, I had a look in the cupboard because I've got a mixture of partly used bulbs that were in the flat when I moved in. And there was one that looks... Uh, it's the, the same type of filament as the one that I had in the cooker hood, but it's a candle bulb rather than a golf ball size, so I've just stuck that in there and it works fine. But now I'm going to have to buy the um, cooker hood filter. Um, I can get it on eBay, and it will probably be here by the end of the week. Um, I'm not going to do a rushed a rushed purchase. I'll just buy it and it'll turn up when it turns up. It'll take seconds to put in. But just really annoying, <laughs> because you think you just go down the road and down a store. I ended up going to several stores, and there's just nothing. It's like people don't do these things anymore. They don't do these bits of DIY and fix things. They just chuck stuff away and start again. So, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to order that. Um, the bulb situation is sorted. Uh, there we go. Great excitement when I went into uh, Sainsbury's the other day. The crunching up peanut butter, which was £1.25, is now 99p. <laughs> so I bought one. I bet when I go back in next week it'll probably be £1.25 again because Audi's made a change and everyone has to do what Audi does. Um, anyway, the reason I was in Sainsbury's wasn't for that. It was to pick up something. Um, there's an Argos inside our Sainsbury's and you can use it as a pick-up point for things that won't go through the letterbox. And it's just better than having to then go to the sorting office. Um, so I bought myself a little tree and it's, it's kind of halfway between a want and a need. And it's something that I saw somebody using on another YouTube channel and it's an issue that I've had for a long time. So I'm going to show you what my little gadget is and then you can see what you think. I bought an electric de-pillar for my knitwear. I have loads of knitwear and it's all synthetic and it's all really old and it gets really pilly. So I bought this on eBay for, I think it was £5.29. It is really cheap. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. Um, I wanted a particular type. I didn't want one that ran on batteries because batteries are a stupid waste of money and not environmentally friendly. 
and it also needed to have a very long wire because most of them have really short wires. Um, they don't come with plugs anymore, they come with USB ends and you plug them into something but because I have lots of spare old plugs from uh, like old mobile phones and gadgets you always end up with a new um, USB plug and I just use them for all sorts of things now. So this has a 1.2 meter lead which is perfect and honestly this is more therapeutic than playing Tetris. It's just so fun and because it's quite quiet I can do this in the evening while I'm watching TV and it doesn't get in the way. It has a little reservoir for all the bits which comes out like that and you just tip it into the bin and it has a little on off switch at the side and there you are and it works I've done uh, three jumpers so far you can hear it eating up the little bobbles that get all over your jumper this is such a great little gadget Sometimes the cheap stuff does work. See, look, that's just from that bit there. I have a load of jumpers which need this done. And I'm not interested in throwing away my jumpers and starting again. They're all cheap synthetics. Some of them I've had 15 years. And um, I want to keep wearing them. They're still wearable. Why would I get rid of them? So I've just bought myself a D-pillar now. I've tried the manual ones, the little comb ones and things. They don't work. And you end up catching the, the fibres and pulling your jumper. That little thing is fantastic. And it's it's uh, it's a lovely therapy. Just to sit there de-pilling a jumper for the evening is so calming. It's better than being on my mobile phone. So, um, yeah, that's my recommendation. If you if you need one of those and you've got a spare fiver, you can get them on eBay for, for five or six quid. But do make sure that you're getting the right lead length. And don't buy a battery version. You'll, you'll be spending a fortune on batteries. Um, so that's my recommendation for the day. Get yourself an electric D-pillar. They're fantastic. Another Tuesday evening rolls around and I have been to Morrison's. Um, got a few things. Nothing dramatic, but you'd be surprised at the money you save. So, honey roast ham. One of those big packs with lots of ham in it. Was £3 for that down to 75p. This is 36 slices, but it's kind of put in, in waves, so it's hard to tell, but they're probably all there. Uh, steak bake, Ginster's pasties, uh, two of those. Were £1.49 each, down to 38p each. And hot cross buns. I love a hot cross bun. I bought two packs. These were, these are off the baker's counter, they were 85p each and now they're down to 22 So I'm probably going to keep a pack out and put a pack in the freezer because these last ages in the freezer. So again, as usual, I will put a little thing up there to show what would have been spent and what was saved and how much I've saved. Um, Tuesday evening is done. Um, the cold snap is arriving tonight. It's going to be something like zero degrees and we haven't had that in a while so I've just I've prepped the windows I've rolled back down the bubble wrap because when it gets warmer I roll it up because it's nice to be able to open the windows so that's all back down and it doesn't feel too bad at the moment actually I think the real cold temperature is really going to hit early tomorrow morning so I think we'll be alright this evening and I'm going to get on and put stuff in the freezer these two will go in the freezer one of those, and that's the end of Tuesday. Speak to you soon. Another Thursday morning. Off to the post office to put the cash in from yesterday's clean. It was supposed to snow. Well, they said from 8 o'clock. And it's not actually been that cold. It's 13 degrees in the flat, which isn't bad. But I've just come out, and although it's windy and raining. It is also trying to snow. But I don't think it's going to come to anything because it's just so wet and it's not cold enough. I uh, 
I made a fruit cake the other day, which I didn't um, do a video on because I've done it before. Here's some pictures. I did it with a bit of a twist. So I used the jar of gin mincemeat that I bought like the middle of last year, which is fine. And um, put that in, it's really, really good. So good. I'll put a link on my end screen to the original fruitcake recipe if you want to make it. It's another one of my wartime type frugal recipes, no eggs, because eggs are expensive. Right, let's have a look at the cafe, see if they've got anything to buy. Mince pies, 30p. I'm going to get those on the way back. Peanut butter, how much is there? Peanut butter is a pound. I can have a couple of those as well. Um, let's go to the bank first. Get those things on the way back. A couple of boxes of mince pies and a couple of jars of peanut butter will help see me through. There's a pound. I'm getting for 99p at Sainsbury's, depending on how long that price lasts. But you can't get that at Morrison's yet. It's still £1.25. Right, I'm going to land on the high street in a moment. It's going to be noisy, so I'm going to go catch him better. Back. Very blustery out there. So, two packs, 30p each. I keep buying them, but they're not going to last forever. At some point, these are going to go. Uh, so I'm just going to keep buying them when I see them cheap and I bought two jars of the peanut butter. This is co-op and they were a pound each. There's no way you get that in co-op for a pound. So I've got two of those and they'll go into the stores. So that's quite good for a Thursday morning. So I'm going to get on with work. Uh, tons of admin to do today, as often is on a Thursday. And um, yeah. Apart from that, it's been quite a quiet week actually, so I shall probably end this around about here. It's a shorter weekly ramble, but I'll try to do several throughout the month because I know that people are interested in them. And it's nice it's not just one thing about one thing, that you get a little bit of everything going on. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, catch up with you very soon. Have a look at this. Crocuses. Feels a bit early. The, uh, the cold snap that, and the, the snow in the ice they said would come hasn't, but now they keep saying it's still on the way, so I don't know. It's pretty mild today. I'm finishing this round up with a, a trip to the post office. Because I've had a small Etsy sale. Yay! We don't get many of those. Um, they trickle through, as they have done for a while now, so I'll get the odd sale. It's all money in the bank. Keeps the DWP happy anyway. So yeah, so that's... Uh, that's going to be the end of this week. Um, I've been working on a, another vlog, which you will see coming up soon. Fixing some coats. 
I don't know when it's going to be coming up, but it won't be too far away. I hope you find that interesting and useful. If you're into fixing your stuff, like your clothes and what have you, you might find that really good. So I'm going to leave that here because I'm going to end up on the noisy high street. And I'll catch up with you soon. Hope you're having a good week. Bye bye.